Alright, hey guys, uh, this is Eric again, and we are back for another gameplay of Noctis. So, last time when I recorded my video, part 2 of this series, um, I used the soundtrack to 2001 A Space Odyssey as my background music, and YouTube totally uh, blocked it. So I had to remove the music from that, and I'm currently in the process of getting it back. Um, so if you saw that video, um, you, I don't know if you'll ever hear the audio that I recorded for it, but maybe not. But anyway, this planet right here has life on it. This is the first planet that I ever found that has um, life on it, and it was pretty freaking awesome. Planet number five surrounding this star that I named Mother Star because it was the first planet with life I ever found. So my goal of finding a planet with life has been uh, accomplished, or I succeeded, or whatever you want to say. So let's uh, get out of here and let's just make a video with just um, doing exploring and just have some fun and just talk about what we see. So flight control drive, we're going to set a remote target and we're going to go uh, to here. Let's do it. Zero grams of lithium. And again, of course I need lithium as usual. So anyway, I was just saying that um, my last video that I uh, recorded got kind of removed or got blocked on YouTube because I was using the soundtrack to 2001 A Space Odyssey. So the music that you're hearing now actually is, um, so for the version Noctis 4, there was a guy named Ryan that made a the manual to that game and he also made a MIDI song uh, for the game and this is basically his version but I opened it up in FL Studio and I replaced the original um, kind of lackluster MIDI sounds with some um, new ones and that's basically what you're hearing is my synthesizer kind of remix of the original um, song You can see I have Skype open, sorry about that. And we're approaching planet number four. And there's a moon. It's got rings. And it looks pretty nice. Wow, uh, it's got some incredible craters. Let's go on the roof and check it out. Wow, that's kind of beautiful. We can see that the temperature is actually uh, relatively warm for space. A negative 54 degrees Celsius. That's, uh, you know, it's been colder actually on, this, on the south pole of Earth before. So it's, you know, with a warm, 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 warm coat and some socks, you could survive out here. But yeah, let's um, let's see what it's like on the planet. So, do I want to land? Oops, let's get a little closer. Do I want to land in a crater or somewhere else? You know, maybe I'll land like right here, right next to, right in between two craters. It's dark, it's cold. It's actually colder on this planet than it is in the space around the planet. Uh, I don't know why. And there is no atmosphere here at, at all. It is a totally barren world. And it looks pretty nice. Um, let's use the jetpack in the community edition. If I press down the space button, I can fly a jetpack here. There we go.
You can see I'm falling towards the surface. I just press my space button again to just slow down my descent. Ooh. I don't want my cat person to get hurt. My Felician or whatever. And so this is a pretty um, cool looking planet. Uh, kind of a dead world though. Can't see the star at all. Uh, not sure why. Anyway, let's check out another place in this system. Uh, we'll go a little farther out. Uh, maybe try the fifth or sixth planet and see if that was more suitable for life. Typically, well, actually, no, maybe I should go closer because it's so cold here. Yeah, I'll go one planet in and try the third planet. That's, that's smarter. It'll just get colder the farther out in the solar system I get. Where the heck is planet number three, yeah? Hey? I can't, I shouldn't be up here because I can't see. Here it is. Target fixed. Start the approach. On the roof again. Wow, you can actually see the temperature going up as we fly past the sun. Getting very, 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 very hot. And then cooling down as we pass it again. That's so scientifically accurate, I am just absolutely in love. Anyway. And we're getting closer to planet number three. Another big uh, world with an enormous crater on it. And another moon circling it. Um, that's a pretty gosh darn big moon too. I would almost argue that's a dual planet system. Anyway, let's check her out. Um, I'll uh, try to check uh, for lithium to see if I can uh, get some. And I can't. So let's deploy our surface thing here. Boink. Let's go over to the light side of the planet and uh, let's land right here on the lip of this crater. This temperature here is pretty hot. I'm just trying to be quiet so you can hear the song a little bit. I'm gonna head towards that big uh, mountain or hill looking thing right there and just see what that's all about. I'll uh, activate my jetpack. Oof. And the game just did this weird thing that it does sometimes whenever you're in the jetpack. Sometimes it will literally just like teleport you to another location somewhere on the planet and then the ship will start following 
So I bet if I look up in the sky, I'll see the ship chasing me. Yep, that happens. Seems like every time I use the jetpack, it my ship kind of wants to take me back to the... Or this lantern wants to take me back to the ship. So that's a weird kind of bug with this game. The jetpack isn't really perfect <laughs> by any long shot. Anyway. Let's just pl try Planet 6. Let's turn our ship towards it. So we can see it when it approaches. Disable the display temporarily. And let's just watch it as we get closer. Now this is really far out. This is probably going to be a very, very, very cold planet because it's so far away from the one that I was just at. So let's see what this planet looks like. Interesting. Nice and blue. Blue and black. It could be a water world. Uh, let's see what um, the computer has to say. The sixth planet is a small, solid planet with a thin atmosphere. Can I get lithium from it? Heck no. Alright, let's uh, deploy our surface capsule. Head over to the bright side of the planet. And you know, I, uh, I'm going to land right here, kind of in between these two colors, blue and black. So it is cold here, as I suspected. Very cold. Um, the atmosphere is slowly going down, which means that this planet, yep, it's got 1% the atmosphere that Earth does, basically. It's got these cool sand-colored rocks. It's mostly gray. Pretty cool. What's this? Okay, so a uh, pretty barren little world here, not too too much to see, so I guess I'm just gonna um, just call my lander. Let's get in it, let's go back up to the ship. It is my birthday right now, uh, 713. I am 28 years old as of right now. And that is not a lie. And I want to see if it's possible for me to scan this thing for lithium. And I can't, I'm too far away it says. I need a recalibration. I think that's what that means. And there's, so there's the sun that's nearest to us. Let's try to click on that. I'm pretty sure that it will tell me that it can't do it.
crap, I have to do it again. Whoops. Bobby. You've done it now. Let's just rush on back to our star here. Parking. This is weird. Oh, there we go. We are getting closer. We are approaching. Slowly but surely. And there we are, calibrated. Perfect. So let's check again and... Oop, that's not what I wanted. Darn it. Let us check one more time for lithium and I can't do it so let's go to just another planet or another star one of the ones that's nearby less than 10 if possible there's one that's five away let's go I love seeing uh, the stars move as you as you warp. That's just awesome. All right, here we are, class seven. Oh my god! And there's only one planet in this entire system. So let's go. Now let's go and check that planet out. This planet looks uh, very, very, very similar to Saturn. Maybe Saturn and Saturn's moon Titan, a little mixture of both. This is a very large substellar object, not consistent. That means I can't land on it. So this is like a failed star, like a Jupiter type. Stinks. <laughs> Have to keep jumping and wasting uh, a... <laughs> So much uh, stuff. Bye bye. Power loss. There we go. See, I'm out of a uh, what's it called again. And so now I have to call for assistance again and wait 15 minutes to get help again. Ah. <sighs> Well, at least I get to look at this planet while I'm waiting. So, yeah, in 15 minutes from now, another star drifter being piloted by another one of these Felician cat creatures will come and give me some, some fuel so that I can continue my journey. And eventually I'm going to have to figure out uh, how exactly I get this lithium that I'm supposed to be using to fuel this ship, like what types of stars or types of planets have it. I'm sure that it's written down in the manual, which I didn't read. And I admit it, I didn't read it. Sue me. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Um, let me see if it is possible maybe for me to read it right now. S6 stars. S6 stars are the ones that have it. 
Okay, well, now I know. I need to go to S6 stars all the time and scope for lithium. If only I would have known that before. Computers won't work. Or the 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 goes computer there won't work. Oh, there it is. There's my my ride. He came real quick. So there it is. That's another star drifter. Coming to save me. Coming to give me some fuel. Hey, buddy. And every once in a while you'll see a flash of light, and that's when he's giving me fuel. Is when you see light coming off of his ship. Like that. Thank you. And so he's gonna circle around my ship a couple of times, drop me some supplies, and then fly off. He's not gonna not gonna board and visit or anything. Thank you, thank you. Nice looking ship. I'd wager that mine looks a little better than his though. It's my birthday. It's true. Bye. Alright, we got lithium, so let's turn our ship back on. Uh, preferences. Auto screen sleep off. Normal pitch controls, menus always on screen. Pull. Oh, darn it. <laughs> darn it. Okay, there we go. That, that would be so annoying if the menu was like always being hidden. I don't want to do that. Um, onboard devices. Got to turn them back on. Got to turn that on. Uh, sync high speed orbit. That's my favorite. Force radiation limit active. Um, let's see here. So now, flight control drive. We are gonna pick a local target, or a remote target rather, and we're gonna make it a S6 star this time, so I can scope some flipping lithium and end this nightmare. <laughs> fly, fly, Robin, fly. Up, up to the sky. Here we are. So we'll go left. Uh, onboard devices. Emergency functions. Scope for lithium. I love it. I'm absolutely in love with this. Never will I be able to get enough of this lithium scoping. <laughs> I am so happy now. Let's go back here. And now I've got four grams of lithium. Five grams. I want to I wanna see it go up to six. Give me six, baby. There we go, six. There are no planets uh, for this star. Literally, I guess this only exists to scope. Well, now that I know this, I guess I don't, and I have seven, let's just find another one and get out of here. And let's find an S00, like this one, which could have life on it, and let's head over to it. Uh, there's a conflict. 
Is it because I'm scoping? Do I have to stop the scoping before I can do this? Yep, I do. Okay. Sorry about that. We're charging. We're almost ready to go. This would be very dangerous <laughs> to do in real life. And you can see the temperature is rising to a very uh, muggy <laughs> 72 degrees Celsius. So let's see. Um, there's a class O star, a medium sized yellow star suitable for planets that have life forms. So we're going to set a local target, and we're going to go to planet number Approaching, I saw a moon that we just flew past. Boom! This looks exactly like a planet that I was at uh, in another system. No big deal. So anyway, no atmosphere, craterized, dusty. Do I want to land and check it out, or do I want to just try to find another one? Yeah, let's just find another one. N number eight. This is 40 solar diameters away from where we are right now, which means uh, there's a 100% chance this planet will be crazy cold. But, let's just do it. It's planet number 8. Got a moon. Oh, it looks interesting. It's got some weird dark spots on it. Let's see what we can learn about it. It's the eighth planet. It's medium sized. The surface is mainly made of quartz, oxygen, atmosphere. Well, just because it's got an oxygen atmosphere does not mean anything. I really don't know what these dark things are, uh, but I'm kind of perplexed. So I guess I will land in one. Ooh, this place is interesting. Wow. My lander just landed me on the side of an enormous cliff. Wow, and I accidentally just went back into the lander because I was afraid of falling and dying. <laughs> Holy cow. This place is uh, filled with some mammoth, uh, you know, <laughs> landing spots. Um, Let's see if this spot's any better. It is. It's not uh, crazy hilly everywhere. So that's interesting. The dark spot was insanely hilly, but the bright spots are relatively earth-like. Yeah, is this grass? I no, it's not grass. Of course, it's not. It's insanely cold. It's got almost as much uh, atmospheric pressure as Earth does. 
It's got more gravity than Earth does, but it's just crazy cold. Let's jet use our jetpack and get ourselves in trouble and then get teleported off of this planet. Man isn't meant for this much power. Ooh, so there we go. So there we can see I've been teleported or whatever. I reached the edge of the of the area they wanted me to go to and now I'm being kind of whipped back. And I can run from this uh, thing if I want this lander if I if I chose to and I could stay on the planet longer. In fact, I did that in the last video. But um what's the sense, right? This planet isn't that good anyway. So we have decided, we know that we don't want um, that planet. Let's try to get like a fourth one. Or six. Really see anything good, so I guess uh, I guess I'm just gonna get out of here. There's an S zero, another one. Um, let's go to it. Too hard to find a suitable uh, planet in that system. You can see that the color of the interior has turned from like a white to a blue, and now back to a white. Planet 1, planet 2, planet 4, where's planet 3? Yeah, that's a great question. No one knows. Well, whatever. Let's just try Planet 4. And you'll be able to see Planet 3 once I get to Planet 4. There's a problem with space. Just can't see crap. Ooh, two moons and a nice green surface. So, uh, this is a medium sized planet, Felesian, with a breathable atmosphere, suitable for life. I think we got it. I think we got it. So let's land right here. And let's hope for that life. It's stormy here. Yep, there is some bushes. And it's just a matter of time before we see a little hoppy creature. Or a flying creature. So we hop out. And we see that the temperature is, um, you know, about like 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, you know, very comfortable. Maybe you would need like a, you know, a light sweater here, possibly. But you'd be extremely comfortable. Not in any risk or risk of dying. Uh, the gravity is just a little bit stronger than Earth's, but the atmospheric pressure is just a little bit weaker. keep moving I don't see any um, animals yet 
That doesn't mean there are any, though. It's absolutely not what that means. Let's use our uh, our thing here, our jetpack again, and see what kind of nonsense we can get into with that. Ooh, <laughs> hit the ground! Ooh, hit the ground again! These trees are taller than uh, the bushes that we were seeing before. This has been a slight change in the scenery, but not too much. There wasn't as many mountains before, now there's mountains everywhere. Oof. Well, I guess these aren't mountains, they're more like hills, but... Anyway. Doof. Interesting, I've been able to kind of jetpack here for a little while without too much trouble. Ooh, what's that in the distance? I want to go to that place. And that's where I want to be. Take me to there. Oh, they won't take me to there, okay. A lot of figures. Okay, well, let's... Well, my ship is chasing after me, my lander, let's get back in the lander and let's try landing on a different spot on this planet and see if we can spot some life because oh my god there it is nope there it is that's a that's a moving thing that's a creature right there that stupid looking little thing right there is a creature in this game so if you squint your eyes and really pretend that little frog looking guy right there can be anything but that right there is proof beyond any doubt that this planet harbors some kind of life it's simple it's stupid it's fast <laughs> but it's there and it's real where are you going little guy where are you going where are you going I'm gonna cut you off And you can basically see that it's programmed to just go in a big circle, and that's all it's ever gonna do. So let's let's just get out of here. Let's get out of here. I've had enough. So there you have it—a wonderful, uh, kind of earthy-like world that wasn't too unbearably hot or cold. And that doesn't happen too often. So what I'm going to do is uh, go to Onboard Devices and go under Galactic Cartography. And I'm going to label this planet uh, as Yaz Reach 2. Because I can. And I'll label the star as... Goyoporo, <laughs> or Goyoporo, yeah, there we go, it's a wonderful um, flight control drive, let's get out of here, let's go someplace totally at random, uh, there we go, double clicked at a place just at random, started the flight, so let's see what this random star has to offer us, 30 light years away. Excellent. It seems to be kind of pinkish, purplish. Uh, there's a bunch of planets and moons around here, all nearby. Interesting. So it's a class 9 star, medium size, surrounded by gas clouds. It's a young star. Fascinating. Really fascinating. Set a local target. Uh, 
planet one is going to be very hot, and planet two will be too. Planet 14? Goodness. Goodness. Planet 15. Planet 9. Planet 6. Let's go to planet six, I guess. Start that approach. It's all about the approach. You gotta know how to approach her. a dollar I can't uh, land on this thing. Now this is a cool solar system. Alright, so it's the sixth planet. It's large, it's not consistent, it's covered with dense clouds. Obviously I can't land there, let's not even bother. Ooh, I don't want to do that actually. I meant to set a local target. Here we go. Let's just go to planet two. And if it's ungodly hot, it is. it looks like. I suppose we got time to kill. Let's land right here. actually very cold uh, I'm really surprised to say I thought because this was the second planet it would be relatively close to its parent star and uh, apparently it's not so whoops what's this the spike of destiny Yeah, I mean, this is, you know, pretty similar to, like, I guess, Earth's moon or whatever. Pretty cold. Pretty barren. Pretty boring. And maybe, um, maybe I'll just try one more planet, and then, uh, 
wrap up this video. Let's see here. We're gonna set a local target. For Nameless Planet 1. And this is the first planet in this solar system, the closest to the star, which is right there. Ooh. So let's see here. What can we learn about it? It's too big, so we can't use it, so let's try another one. I can't even see, uh, the other planets. It's hard to get to. I feel like I've already been to Planet 4, though. Well, okay, let's um, leave this solar system. And pick this one instead. Maybe this will be a better uh, star system. Tomorrow is going to be the flyby, the close part of the flyby of uh, the New Horizons spacecraft past Pluto. And we're going to see very high definition pictures of the planet Pluto and its five moons, or at least one of them, Sharon. That's going to be very exciting. I'm kind of looking forward to that even more than, uh, than my birthday. Here we go. And I have a good feeling about this planet. This solar system is a lot less crowded, so it's a lot easier to find the planets without, you know, them getting stuck behind other things. Oof. Never mind, this is a gas world. I wonder if this will fully covered by clouds. So, solid, thick atmosphere. Fully covered by clouds. I can land on it. Let's check it out. Let's land like right kind of on the edge of one of these solid colors. So, like something like right here would be perfect. hot though. It's crazy hot. Oh, Noctis stopped working. Well, I guess that's a, a good signal to stop playing this vid this uh, game tonight. I'll uh, record another video uh, tomorrow. If you guys uh, liked uh, the video, just let me know uh, and I'll be sure to make some more. Uh, thanks guys.